versus Tito Ortiz uh, will be will be uh, an event uh, an event that is uh, uh, that should not be missed. The absolute uh, uh, best is up here on stage. These two fighters are legends. They're living legends. Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz represent uh, two of the most celebrated fighters in the history of uh, of combat sports and. For me, it, it, it truly is an honor uh, to uh, put together uh, this third fight between uh, two living legends. Chuck Liddell is a devastating puncher. He, uh, he's a guy who has always had the ability to knock someone out with one single punch. And Tito Ortiz is a, is a great grappler, wrestler, and a quintessential ground and pound type of fighter. Bringing these guys back to settle the score and find out who is better is something that fans have been waiting for for a very long time. And I personally can't wait to, uh, to see this great matchup. So this is, this is an enormous event which will be taking place Saturday, November 24th, live on pay-per-view and will be held at the Great Western Forum, the fabulous uh, Great Western Forum in Los Angeles. The tickets go on sale today. We had an amazing pre-sale, which was incredible. I mean, they're going like hotcakes. That's just the pre-sale. So the on-sale that starts today for the general public, we're, we're uh, very positive and sure that this will be a, a sellout uh, event in, uh, in no time. You can get your tickets at uh, Ticketmaster.com uh, or by calling 1-800-745-3000, Ticketmaster.com. So without any further ado, let me uh, introduce to you uh, uh, Tito's, uh, Tito's camp. Uh, I would like to uh, call up to the podium to say a few words. Um, George L. Prajan, George L. Prajan, George. First of all, thank you all for attending today. I think it's going to be a monumental event. Um, been involved in the sport for a while now, and uh, while the UFC has been the premier organization in the sport, it has invested a lot of money in the sport and built it to where it's at today. Uh, we feel that when athletes get to a certain level, they're not able. To, they should be participating participating more in the revenue, and it's it's just not uh, an opportunity for them. So Oscars come along and offered a true partnership with each of these guys where they're going to actually participate in the profits <clears throat> and be able to um, actually earn equally in the revenue and we're thankful for that and um, look forward to this fight. I think uh, third time's a charm and it's going to be a victory for Ortiz and Viva Mexico! Thank you very much and you know, that this fight, many people around the globe have, have been waiting for this, uh, for this trilogy. Uh, we all know, we all know the animosity uh, between both fighters. Uh, we all know that uh, they wish uh, Tito and Chuck the, that the fight was tomorrow. Uh, they're ready to go now. As you see them uh, uh, up here on the podium, they're in amazing shape. Uh, uh, we do want to thank the California State Athletic Commission. They, they, uh, they are uh, one of the best in the business as well, uh, along uh, along uh, the Nevada State Athletic Commission, and, and you know they 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 made sure that uh, that Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz were able to pass all their tests with flying colors. Um, and, and it's uh, it's obviously uh, it's obviously uh, wonderful that uh, that the, once again the fans uh, can watch uh, uh, once and for all who the uh, who the best is uh, in, in the in this division. So let me uh, let me take this moment um, to introduce to you. Like I said, he's uh, he's uh, he's a living legend. He, uh, he's a fighter who, uh, when you think about mixed martial arts, when you think about, uh, when you think about who was there right from the start, 
uh, when UFC started, uh, you think about Tito Ortiz, and he's been uh, he's been an amazing champion. He's been an amazing fighter uh, throughout his whole career. And I, by looking at him, by talking to him, I can I can truly say that this is only the beginning. After so many years of him fighting, so it is my pleasure to introduce to you the former. UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Tito Ortiz. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, Las Vegas, California, live at the Forum, November 24th. I get an opportunity to put you out once and for all. This came around. I fought last year against Chael Sonnen in uh, Bellator 170. I choked him out in two and a half minutes. He's still in the heavyweight tournament and still beating guys. This guy next to me, he hasn't fought in over 10 years. He wants to come out of retirement and call me out. I've been passionately busy on my other businesses, but you know what? I see the opportunity to finally shut this guy up, to finally get my hand raised on my terms. Not the opportunity where UFC has given us a great opportunity to be the sport where it is today, but De La Hoya, once again, thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to shut this guy up and to start a new business and to start what MMA truly should be. We go out there, we put our lives on the line. I've been through so many major surgeries and I've been able to bounce back. I'm healthier than I've ever been. I put myself to the grindstone. Like I said, I've been competing over the last 21 years, every single year. And on November 24th, when I get my hand raised, over next to this knucklehead next to me. I'll show you guys what I'm truly about. And this is only the beginning, man. Like I said, I'm 43 years young. You watch guys the greatest, like Bernard Hopkins, being 52, being a world champion. You see guys like the greatest, like Randy Couture, at 43, being the world champion. You're gonna see T. Ortiz on November 24th, at 43, getting his hand raised over an old man, a shell of a man, Chuck, the snowflake Liddell. Thank you guys so much. All right, thank you, thank you, Tito. Um, now it is uh, my pleasure to introduce to you the manager of Chuck Liddell, and that is Dave Thomas, to say a few words. Dave, thank you. Good afternoon. Wow. Finally, uh, finally coming to fruition. Um, thank you to Golden Boy and Oscar for giving us the opportunity to do this. It's, uh, it's been since 1994 I've been involved in this sport and seeing the athletes not get paid and, and always talk about what boxers do and how they get paid. And now Golden Boy and Oscar are giving these guys the opportunity to do something that's great and huge and possibly change the sport of MMA forever. And it's exciting and an honor to be a part of it. Um, thank you to Las Vegas today. Thank you to the California Athletic Commission. Most importantly, the biggest honor is to be involved with Chuck Liddell and his return to the ring. The greatest and most iconic fighter in the history of the sport. It is a true honor for me to be involved. I think it's an honor for everybody here to be able to watch his return to the ring. Chuck wasn't done. Chuck had unfinished business, not necessarily with any opponents, but with the sport. He didn't retire on his terms. I feel like Chuck had a lot left in him, and it's a, it's a great thing to be able to see a guy come back in better shape, leaner, healthier, stronger than he was when he retired. And you guys are going to see some, uh, some real fireworks. It's, uh, I expect it to be a great night. I don't expect the fight to be anything different than the first two, other than it's going to be a little bit quicker. Um, it's an honor to work with Chuck, it's an honor to work with Golden Boy and to be here. Thank you all for your time. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, David. Uh, we, um, you know, when you think about, when you think about fighters like, um, George Foreman, you think about fighters uh, like uh, Bernard Hopkins, uh, you think about you think about Floyd Mayweather. You know, when, when you have a fighter who, who lives, breathes, 
sleeps, eats, fighting, and nothing else, you, you're able to have longevity in any sport. And, and that's the case with these two fighters. And um, these fighters are in tremendous, tremendous shape. They are ready to put on a great show. And, you know, we, we, we really can't wait to be the new kid on the block, so to speak. I'm not here to, I'm not here to be a competitor whatsoever because I must say that I have to take my hat off to uh, the UFC for what they've done for the sport. It's been wonderful. But all I'm here to do is to empower the fighter. Just the way I did with boxing, and I brought in uh, my partners like Sugar Shane Mosley and Bernard Hopkins and Marco Antonio Barrera. We empower the fighter. That's exactly what we're doing here with, uh, with Golden Boy Promotions. It's empowering, empowering these two legends here uh, um, on, on the podium here. So it is my pleasure now to introduce a man that needs no introduction. He has a record of 30 and 8. And it is my pleasure and honor to introduce to you Chuck Lydell. Chuck. Thank you everyone for having me here. First to address Tito. I know he's hoping, I know you're hoping, I'm gonna show the man that I was because that's the only way to have a chance to beat me. But he's gonna find out real quick, November 24th, that I'm not. I still, still hit just as hard, I still wrestle just as well, and he is gonna get knocked out. Anyway, thank you guys for having me. I'm excited to be back in the sport. I'm excited to prove to everyone that I'm not too old. You can do anything you put your mind to. I will be there, I will be in shape, and I will be ready. This guy is getting knocked out, and I am going to enjoy it. You ain't doing shit. All right, guys, all right, thank you, thank you, Chuck. You know what I have to admit? For the first time ever, I'm afraid to do a face-off. <laughs> thank you, guys, thank you guys for being here. It's gonna be an amazing, amazing fight, uh, November 24th, so let's, uh, can we pose the fighters for a picture? For the first time, for the third time, but for the first time in this promotion. Here we go. Hey, hey, hey. 